This video discusses hypothetical scenarios that could possibly trigger some specific viewers. Fan discretion is advised. Can Kong actually have a chance against Godzilla? We think he might. That is, under certain and very special conditions. Today we will explore three scenarios where Kong could actually kill Godzilla while revealing the G-Man's most critical weaknesses. If you're a new viewer and would like to see more, take a split second to smash those like and subscribe buttons. If you would like to further support Koji Center, take a look at our merch or check out how you can join our Kaiju Order by becoming a patron of this channel. Now let the bloody business begin. To uncover the three ways Kong could effectively kill Godzilla, we need to analyze Godzilla's anatomy and identify where he's most vulnerable. By looking at his overall corporal build, Godzilla does not have many weaknesses, but most definitely there. The first weakness will be the most difficult to exploit, the eyes. These are well tucked into the Titan's skull, but not immune to puncture wounds. This could also include inside his mouth. The next weakness we can find can be found here, Godzilla's gills. Although not 100% vital for his survival, these gills provide malleable openings to this Titan's throat, which could prove fatal if exposed. And finally, the not-so-soft underbelly. While it is true that Godzilla is armored from head to tail, large flat surface areas, no matter how thick, are still prone to puncture by large and narrow objects or other sharp weapons with enough forward momentum. It's important to note that these three weaknesses can be guarded by Godzilla's strong forearms, making it again really circumstantial for Kong to exploit these weaknesses in order to deal a fatal blow to Godzilla. But let's pretend that for whatever reason, Kong was able to severely injure or counter Godzilla's arms for enough time to deal a blow, leading us to the first way Kong can kill Godzilla. Number 1. Head on a Pike As harsh as this may sound, this could actually be possible. Assuming that Kong got his hands on a long, sharp object, piercing any of these eye sockets would very likely damage the brain, leading to an immediate disruption of Godzilla's entire nervous system and, ultimately, death. Is Kong capable of achieving this? We have seen examples of Kong's brutality in close range and long range combat. In our Godzilla vs. Kong battle analysis, Kong wins the edge on dexterity, meaning that he is able to hit moving targets at a large distance, something that even most humans suck at. If the eye sockets are too difficult to strike, Kong could probably find an opening inside Godzilla's mouth. A strike to the roof of the mouth or back of the throat would strike critical organs like the brain or the spinal cord, paralyzing or even killing Godzilla. Remember, whatever tool is used must be extremely sturdy in order to stab through and hit its target. What would make this even more challenging is Godzilla's fast reflexes, which would allow him to swat any incoming projectiles and hold back any attempts to injure his eyes, making this the most difficult but feasible way to kill Godzilla. Number 2. Flaying for those that don't know what flaying is, this word means to rip the skin off of something while it's alive or dead. How would Kong be able to achieve this? It's not simple. The only way that Kong would be able to perform a similar maneuver would be by targeting his gills, gripping on them and tearing down. Kong is most likely capable of doing this since his upper arms are more than sufficient to do the job. Tearing off Godzilla's gills would expose the soft tissue underneath Godzilla's neck, which includes the neck muscles and maybe even the trachea, if the wound is deep enough. Revealing this area will not only inflict intense pain, but would also cause severe blood loss, making Godzilla incapable of fighting back. Besides using his hands to reach for the gills, Kong could also make use of tools or even the battle axe. These serrated edges on the axe could grip onto any unwary Godzilla's gills, causing severe trauma. Not to mention any additional damage that this axe can inflict with its atomic powers. Again, this is assuming that Godzilla failed to defend its weak spots with his arms. 
In this case, a weakness not as difficult to strike as an eye socket, but still deadly. Number 3. Disemboweling If not careful, Godzilla's guts could hit the floor if Kong manages to land a very well-placed strike on his underbelly. The only weapon that could achieve this is Kong's battle axe. Being sharp is not enough for this weapon to cut through. The axe only features pointy edges, providing enough piercing power but not necessarily cutting power. So how could this weapon cut through Godzilla's underbelly? The answer lies in this weapon's mechanics. An axe's main virtue is not its sharpness, but rather the power inflicted on an object. This power is exerted by the axe's structure, which leverages the axe blade as a counterweight to increase the impact force of this weapon. If this is not enough, this weapon is wielded by one of the strongest titans in the MonsterVerse. To learn more about this weapon and to understand its full array of capabilities and origins, make sure you watch our video breaking down Kong's battle axe. If Godzilla is caught up with his arms in a non-defensive position, Kong could strike at Godzilla's chest or underbelly, slicing the outer layer of skin enough for an opening to be made, causing intense pain which could cripple Godzilla for the rest of the fight. To make matters worse, if Kong decides to dig deeper and disembowel this titan, this could be the ultimate end for the King of Monsters. This sort of wound is seen in the Playmates figures featuring several titans with battle damage, including Godzilla's wounds on his chest and upper abdomen. This tells us that Godzilla could in fact get severely injured in this fight, possibly against Kong or their new archenemy, Mecha Godzilla. It's possible that during the war between the Godzilla and Kong species, some Kong specimens managed to kill some Gojira Titans, possibly in one of the ways discussed previously. The knowledge on how to bring a Godzilla Titan down could have been passed down to later generations. There's only one problem though, nobody was there to teach Kong how to fight. When born, the first thing he witnessed was his parents' death by the Skull Crawlers. In response to this postnatal trauma, Kong survived thanks to the rage fueling his will to live and fight. Everything we see Kong do now, he taught himself. During IGN's FanFest, director Adam Wingard revealed that there will be scenes where Titans will show their raw brutality against one another, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see one of these Titans get critically injured in this film. Can you come up with any other ways where Kong could kill Godzilla? Can you spot any more weaknesses? Do you think any of these killing methods will be attempted in the film? Let us know what you think in the comments. For more Kaiju Analysis documentaries, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time!